the digestive system. I'm hungry. Wow, food. Hmm, I wonder where the food goes. The mouth breaks down the food into smaller pieces by chewing while the saliva softens the food. The tongue helps push the food at the back of the mouth to the esophagus. Esophagus is a long tube that connects the mouth to the stomach. In the stomach, food is mixed with acids. The muscles in the stomach move, which helps break down the food. From the stomach, the, the food is sent to the small intestine. The small intestine is the final place for digestion, measuring about 20 feet in length and 1 inch in diameter. Digestive juices are released in the small intestines, finish breaking the food. Lining in the small intestine are millions of fingers called villi. This absorbs the chemicals that we need from the food into the body. Water, undigested food, and bacteria that are not absorbed in the small intestine are called feces that pass into the large intestine. The large intestine is only 5 feet long but is larger in diameter than the small intestine. Water is absorbed back into the body so the waste materials becomes more solid as it travels through the colon. It may take as long as 20 hours for food to pass completely through the intestine. The largest gland in the body is the liver. It is superior to the stomach. The liver stores a form of glucose called, called glycogen. Vitamin A and bile, which is needed to break down fat, are made in the liver. This organ is also where alcohol, drugs, bacteria, and old blood cells are broken down and removed from the body. The gallbladder is inferior to the liver, which stores bile that is made by the liver. Bile travels from the liver through the hepatic ducts to the gallbladder. The pancreas is an elongated gland that is inferior to the stomach. It produces pancreatic juice that contains digestive enzymes. The pancreas also secretes insulin to the blood. Insulin is needed to allow glucose or sugar from food to get into the bloodstream. Constipation is a decrease in the number of bowel movements along with longer hard passing of stools. Regularity does not necessarily mean one bowel movement every day. Normal bowel habits can range from three movements each day to three each week. Gallbladder disease. In this disease, stones usually composed of cholesterol form in the gallbladder in the abdominal cavity. These stones are often silent, meaning they cause no, no symptoms or discomfort. Severe pain in the upper abdomen may mean that a gallstone has lodged in one of the tubes leading from the gallbladder. Heartburn is a burning pain felt behind the breaststone that occurs after meals and lasts for anywhere from a few minutes to several hours in the mediastinum cavity. It is caused by stomach acid washing, up, washing backward up into the esophagus. Peptic ulcer is a sore in the lining of the stomach or the small intestine just below the stomach. An ulcer Ulcer occurs when the lining is unable to resist the damaging effects of acid and pepsin that are produced by the stomach to digest food. Okay, go. <coughs> Diarrhea is when body waste are discharged from the bowel more often than usual in a more or less liquid state. There are many possible causes, but many cases are related to infection or improper handling of food. Taking care of the system. Exercise regularly. Avoid large amounts of caffeine. Instead, drink lots of liquids, especially water. Eat, Eat a balanced, balanced diet, diet, like a variety of fruits, vegetables, and whole grain breads, cereals, and other grain products.